Welcome. My name is Brett Little. I'm the executive director here at the uh, nonprofit, the Green Home Institute. Green Home Institute has a mission to empower people to make healthier and more sustainable choices in the renovation and construction of the places we live. And we've been headquartered right in Grand Rapids uh, since 2000. We're so excited to be bringing you behind the scenes on uh, single family homes, multi-family mixed use, new construction, gut renovations uh, on our green building tours. So I hope you'll join us as we interview uh, architects, uh, builders, homeowners, developers, energy raters, and really ask them questions as to how and why uh, they are committed to uh, green building in their projects. All of our courses are approved for continuing education in GVCI, AIA, HSW, Nary Green, Certified Green Professional, Certified Green Home Professional, BPI Non Whole House, and they may be applicable to your state based design or contractor license. And to get your continuing ed, make sure you take the quiz uh, while you watch the video or after the video and get an 80% passing rate. And don't forget you can always watch any previous videos anytime at our website and our YouTube channel. All right, uh, so we're uh, here in uh, Chicago and uh, we're on the uh, Illinois uh, Green Alliance Green Build Home Tour 2019. And um, this is a really cool project here with uh, Point B Properties. And um, we're uh, actually, this is gonna be the, one of the first ever uh, Green Star certified, hopefully uh, pending silver uh, multifamily housing project. So we're pretty excited to uh, be here to learn a little bit more. And so why don't you just tell us a little bit more about who you are, Point B Properties, and a little more about this project. Sure. I'm Robert Lynn, obviously with Point B Properties. Uh, this is a condo project. We've got four residential units and, and one commercial. And so we followed all the Green Star requirements um, in order to become, make it as energy efficient as possible. Um, starting with the foundation, uh, through the walls, and uh, throughout, really focusing on all the usual stuff and of course air quality um, and energy efficiency. Um, from an energy efficiency standpoint, can you just tell us a little bit more about um, uh, the energy rating you got and some of the features that went into helping you get there? Sure, yeah. Um, well, we got a Green Star Silver, is what we're going to get? That's what we're going we're for, pending yeah. Green Star, pending Green Star Silver. Uh, I think our HERS rating was 55. And so, I mean, the steps that went into that are largely two main things. Uh, we did a lot of uh, insulation. Um, you know, we did extra insulation and more importantly we prevented thermal bridging. So uh, really focused on continuous insulation throughout the condo project and for us that was spraying an inch and a half of, of closed cell foam, inch and a half to two inches, directly on all the walls before we framed. So that was a key step, making sure that there was no studs up against the walls uh, really anywhere. So that was a lot, took a lot of time um, of course, extra time to frame, and then really around the windows, it's, it's really difficult to make sure you get that inch and a half of foam between all the, the concrete and the framing. So that's been a huge help. Uh, I think we had uh, negative 20 degree weather here in Chicago. Our furnace is about two thirds the size you normally put on a unit of this size. We had no problem keeping it warm and, and minus 20. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a testament to um, that, uh, the insulation techniques and of course, Another advantage of that closed cell foam everywhere is it sealed off uh, the envelope really tightly. And so we don't have any thermal bridges, or very few, and we don't have much air escaping. So those two things together make it a very energy efficient unit. Um, and I would say from a sound quality standpoint, does mm -hmm. it help buffer sound transmission? Or? Yeah, yeah. The great thing about sealing tight is it does a lot of things. Uh, it helps make it more energy efficient, helps to make it quieter. It helps make it healthier because you're only getting the air in the house that you really want to get. So, um, you know, sound travels will find its way through places easier than, than air will. So, um, and so, yeah, all that helps with sound. In addition to our, we have kind of uh, sound mitigating windows that really help with that as well. Um, do you have any special windows as far as energy efficiency? Yeah, so these are, um, these windows are Anderson windows. Uh, they have what's called a smart sun upgrade, so it helps keep the sun's rays that contribute to a lot of heating out. Um, they also have a soundproofing upgrade, and that's done through thicker window panes and then different thickness uh, window panes, which will stop different frequencies from coming through. Mm -hmm. uh, and just uh, energy efficient appliances, lighting? Kind of yeah, all, all the appliances, all the lights are LED, yeah. 
all the appliances are Energy Star, uh, and all the faucets uh, and shower heads are low flow. Mm -hmm. So uh, resource efficient um, from that standpoint. So it sounded like because you got this tight unit, you know, I know multifamily inherently is just pretty tight and low demand. You've got a probably a right size heating and cooling system. Well, what kind of system is that? Yeah, we have a high efficiency uh, furnace. As I mentioned, it's about two thirds of size uh, normally required. In fact, I had to argue with the HVAC guy endlessly uh, to come in to put in 40 BTU. He didn't believe it would keep the unit warm because uh, it was so much smaller than he's used to putting in. So we have that uh, 40 uh, BTU, 40,000 BTU furnace. Um, you know, I think it's 95% efficient. Um, it's uh, got a variable speed motor. So what that does is where normally you've got, uh, you know, the single stage old school furnace shuts on and off constantly as, uh, you know, temperature drops below 70, fires on full blast, shuts on and off over and over again. So then the next level is dual stage. So you have a low setting and a high setting. So what we have is variable speed. So anywhere from the fan can adjust anywhere from 0% to 100%. What that does, um, it allows it to be on more consistently, not shut off and on, which saves energy. But then that constant kind of flow of air um, keeps the air circulating uh, and keeps that filter working. So it's better for air quality and better for filtration as well as better for energy. Mm -hmm. um, and a high efficiency uh, AC too, you said? Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. High efficiency AC, I think we're 16 C or. Right, probably keeps the humidity lower too. Sure. Keeping that running. Yep. yep. Um, anything with water conservation? Um, you know, we have all the low flow fixtures. Uh, we have um, the option to put in uh, like uh, water retention up on the top. So we have the, these little shelves on the roof mm -hmm. where we're putting a roof, uh, like a uh, rooftop garden. It's okay. so like a green roof basically. Okay. Um, and so that helps retain some of the water. Okay. Um, and then from just a, a material standpoint, I mean, what's kind of the sustainability aspects, whether it be you know, durability, mm -hmm. recycled content, or even uh, you know, reduced off-gassing emissions? Right. So the, the floors meet the uh, California requirements for VOCs and for off-gassing, so it's extremely low. California is the strictest in the nation, as mm -hmm. you probably know, on almost everything related to the environment. Right. Um, so that's probably the biggest thing we have, um, the drywall is a special what's called air renew drywall they use it in hospitals so that helps uh, clean the air and it's very mold resistant mm -hmm. so the entire place is uh, we use air uh, air renew drywall so that really helps with uh, any random VOCs or things like that that may that may come up okay um, and then just from obviously connectivity here mm -hmm. I mean having that sort of sense of place we say being able to you know get around easily get sure the things you need without having to drive yeah a big reason that uh, I like doing condos is um, you know, even if you have an extraordinarily energy efficient home, you know, it's still one family in a, a really big space with a lot of walls and a lot of heat escaping. So I like building condos because, uh, you know, it's more efficient from an energy standpoint, obviously to have to more people under one structure. So there's that aspect of it, which is why I like condos uh, from kind of a macro perspective. And then this location in particular has a, a walk score of 97, if you're familiar with that metric and what that is, what walk score is, just measures, you know, how walkable a unit is, how uh, able are you to do like day-to-day -day errands without a car. Mm -hmm. So this uh, scored 97 out of 100, so it's called a walker's paradise. So obviously if you don't have to use a car, um, that saves a lot of energy for all the obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, um, let's go check out uh, the uh, indoor air quality uh, all right. monitoring system. Let's do it. Yeah.